keep expectations low. If we missed, <laughs> if we missed any super chats or anything like that, uh, Mod Squad, if you could let me know so I can go back and thank everybody. But for now, hi everybody. Oh no, what is that buzzing? Is, is there, there a, a buzzing? buzzing? <laughs> oh my goodness. You know what, let me... Of course there's a buzzing. Why wouldn't there be a buzzing? Let me grab my... This is why you should not try to do fancy things. It always, it backfires. Thank you, Mary. Very much appreciated. <laughs> Let me attach my leg. It's probably the laptop. Uh, and Mary Waters uh, in there with a super chat. Hi, Mary. Okay. I am. There better not be a buzzing. If there's a buzz. Sounds like a bug. Oh, God. That's not good. I'm buzzing is, a bit. Is there a cricket? There is not is, a cricket. <laughs> It's not even showing. Is like, it the I can't... fan? Someone thinks it might be the fan. There's the probably mic. nothing that can be done. I'm using a... Uh, I didn't bring my good microphone. Ah, so so this microphone the... isn't shielded. So chances are that's, uh, that's... Hopefully it's not too bad. It's the, it's the laptop. Yeah. Yeah, this... Oh, God. Don't do that. Everything's going to go. Okay. So I apologize for the, the... The buzzing noise, but there's not much that can be it, done. It might it be okay once it's... we start talking. Hopefully it'll yeah. cover it up. <laughs> so, uh, Napalm Priest, wonderful name by the way, is in here with a $5 super chat. Gotta get this out of my ear. I can hear myself talking. <laughs> and said, Sharla just upgraded uh, from our beloved self, Dev Kidding Chris Aborid <laughs> for an improved version of, uh, of co host. All right. Um, aborid. Aboard. Aboard. Aboard in Japan. So one of the big things that we're going to be talking about today is an upcoming camping trip. I'm very excited about this camping trip. I'm very excited. I was modding Chris's stream the other day mm. and um, camping got brought up. Oh. And I said that we would definitely make it happen because I really want to go camping, but Chris didn't seem enthused at all about the idea. He doesn't seem to like the idea of camping. I don't think he does. No. No, we keep trying to force it on him, but I don't think he wants to go. It is, uh, it's not his quote unquote cup of tea, if you will. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's all right. Norm loves camping. I love camping. Honestly, probably all of our other friends love camping, so <laughs> we will make a camping trip happen. Yeah, so we were another. actually taking a look at camping supplies yesterday. And so one thing so that, uh, as we do this this camping trip thing, this live stream is brought to you by the fine folks over at Tokyo Treat. Can we eat now? Who were like, hey, Norm, do you want to give away more treats on your live stream? And I was like, yes. Who are we giving away so Yes, I, yes oh, we fine. are. Yes, we are. But we will save that for the end. Can we Or, eat you know what we don't? We won't put it right at the end. <laughs> that way they don't know where to skip to, right? We're like, we'll put it somewhere randomly in the middle. Oh, yeah, smart. That's how, that's how I'll do it. And, uh, yeah, so each month there are boxes. And so right now we've got the boxes, that I think, for, for like June or something like that. Yeah, most And likely. we're going to... Got, got a pair of scissors here. They're not very sharp. Be careful. <laughs> they're not very sharp. It might be hard. They're rusty. <laughs> <laughs> they handed me. They don't even. They're not even I scissors. Think that cut. There's I no think that cut. There's no blade to them. <laughs> How do you call these scissors? I use them for everything. I cut flooring wow. with those scissors. All right. Apparently, according to uh, Kirsten, mm -hmm. there are maple Kit Kats hidden within. Maple? Are yeah. they like Canadian? Also, I bet you. I bet you anything is maple syrup from Canada. Japan honestly, loves. Oh, missed. Uh, from Cine missed a a super chat there. Oh, I gotta pay close attention. I've got two super chats here from Mary Waters. Thank you so much, Mary, for getting the ball rolling on that. We read the one from the Napalm Priest and one from Cine. A Japanese dream says, good morning from Tokyo. Good, good morning. morning. Uh, good morning from Morioka. 
Oh, sorry, I just doxed you. Oh my god, <laughs> I've never to, said that before. And thanks to the both of you for always sharing such high quality content. I hope you Aww. both have a great day. Thank you so much. You Thank too. You. Hope you've got uh, decent weather down in Tokyo. It's hot and humid even up here in Morioka, so Did I can imagine it's very hot for you today. Are you ready? Watch this. I'm gonna open it up and because I haven't looked inside of here before. Yeah, we as I do this, we don't know what's everything in. will dump onto the floor. It definitely will. Almost guaranteed. <laughs> With our luck. Oh. 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 Wow. Okay. Ooh. This one looks like a collaboration with Funimation. Okay. So wait. you can see that on the the thing. And why aren't you focusing? There you go. This is actually kind of neat. Ooh, there's a whole Fanta in there. I've never tried that one. And you can have the Fanta. All right, so it's got a whole map here of all the different things that are in it. I saw it. It said Lucky Cat Candy somewhere. Lucky Cat Candy. I want the Lucky Cat. That is so cute. I've never seen that before. Bring a little snack magic to your anime snack fest. Uh, this candy changes color as you enjoy it, so I don't have to keep like spinning like it out Wonka? to look at it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or you could just bring a friend. Uh, oh, the color reflects your fortune. Red is lucky, yellow is normal, and green is, well, you know. <laughs> I don't know what's green. <laughs> the, are these tennis balls? What? These look like they little do. tennis balls. They're, what? Those are so cute. One of the things that I love They're about... They're furry. Will it focus for me? Please focus. That's a little close. It's, it's not. Close. I can guarantee you, it's not. I'm you used had to like my Sony. The <laughs> they look like little tennis balls. They're furry. Can we eat one? Yeah, let's go for it. These are lemon and lime flavor. I, watch them be like super sour. They probably will be. Okay, these are the cutest things. Oh my god, is this? They smell sour. Oh, it is maple. There are maple Kit Kats. Smell that. It smells like pain. It smells like. <laughs> Do you remember sour balls? Did you have like sour balls? I hate balls sour or? candy, so I've never had. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah. Charlotte's not a fan of sour candy, and I'm pretty sure. Let me. Let me. Is it not, not sour? sour? Oh. <laughs> they smell really sour. Oh, they're really nice. No. Mm. Ooh, I love the texture. Is it gum? I think it is a gum. Mmm. Mmm. Where did they find that? I've never seen those before. All right, so a super chat from I just want to make sure I didn't miss um, Rami Drowin. I hope I got that right. Good evening from Montreal, Canada. Represent. Mm, hello. I love your content. The quality is incredibly professional. Keep it up. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I enjoy what I do. And Diane, hey Diane, saying hi Charlotte and Norm. Proud Hi, patron Diane. of you both camping. Oh, is it Diane, Diane? Yeah. Diane, hey. <laughs> it's really hard to do this with gum in your mouth. It is. <laughs> we made a mistake eating the gum first. I How was do so you like marshmallow? Excited about it. Roasted over a campfire. Golden, burnt, or not at all? Oh, um, golden. Definitely golden. I'm golden yeah. all the way. A I little, need to a do little it bit with burnt gum. is okay. Can I uh, use the package from this? Oh, go for it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it was very hard to do a live stream while chewing. Oh, here's tissues. Um, yeah, golden all the way. In fact, we were taking a look yesterday. There's a lot of places you can actually get full-size marshmallows in Japan. We saw them, lovely. yeah, at the home center yesterday. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. But I was telling Sharla that if you use the Arfoto chocolate, which has like graham cracker and chocolate right there, you can just get a marshmallow mm. and make s'mores. And mm. Sharla revealed a dark side to her <laughs> that I was unaware of. <laughs> and I just... <laughs> I don't we, really like are chocolate. Are we going to tell them or are we going to make yeah. them wait for... Okay, you just told them. I don't really it. like chocolate. Sharla doesn't like chocolate. I'd prefer to just like... I had no idea. Put it in a graham cracker. I just... I don't, <laughs> it's just we'll, we'll loop around back to that. Um, we're going to be doing lots of camp talk. Where is Motto? Will Motto go camping? <laughs> <laughs> Motto will not go camping. He would just like boot it out into the forest and I would never see him again. Just be gone. He's a very hyper cat. He'd just um, be a Motto-shaped cloud of dust. He's not easy to control. <laughs> 
Um, JZM in here with the super chat saying, Norm, I ended up finding a great anime called Laid Back Camp. Oh, that's probably a camping uh, uh, anime. Yudu uh, Camp. camp. Yeah, uh, and it reminded me of your videos from last year. I would also recommend it for anybody who loves camping. There's, oh, yeah, cool. everyone, like, I probably got this comment, you do camp vibes on, on my video, videos. like, probably 400 times last year, <laughs> so I was like, ah, new anime to check out. Uh, Eon is saying, Chris has been voluntold to join the camping, <laughs> bring Family Mart fried chicken. I can guarantee you, I'm gonna, greetings from North California, thank you very much, I can guarantee you, he will not be joining the camping. We'd want him to. We would literally tie him up, except for the fact that he would disappear faster than Mara would. In... Yeah. 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 He probably He would, like, would. Uber right out of it. <laughs> he would <laughs> Uber. Ah, Nihon kara. Arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. And I'm gonna quickly read two more. Uh, Hobbs Denight. A good evening from Cortis, Ontario. Wow, hi. Uh, thanks Canadian. for all the great videos. Can't wait to visit Japan. I'll bring the maple syrup. Well, then I will make the pancakes. Yes. And Donald saying, Hey, Norman Charlotte, I hope you both are well. Hey, Love Donald. both your channels. Uh, is it expensive to go camping in Japan? I think this is a great way That's, to kick yeah, off the stream. Yeah, let's start with that. So have you been camping in Japan? I've done, I guess it would be more like glamping because mm. I was in kind of a treehouse okay. structure thing. So it was kind of more like a hotel. So, <laughs> like I wouldn't call it camping. To me, camping is a tent. Why don't you explain what glamping is in case they've never heard that term Yeah, before. so it's like lame camping. <laughs> <laughs> it's like camping on easy level. Yeah, so it's like a cozier, more comfortable camping experience. Mm. Um, so you'll stay in like little huts or little cabins or like it could be a tent, but usually they're like decked out with like mm. proper beds and fancy blankets they've got all the stuff. amenities provided so it's like glamorous camping glamping i really I don't <laughs> like the word to it's, be honest i find a, it very cringy it's a very cringy word coming from canada i think we're used to regular camping yeah and yeah i love it i grew up with it so i'm very happy in a shitty tent you know last year so usually camping if you have all your supplies and whatnot you can rent them when you go there which obviously mm. costs more but the average camping site if you're spending more than 30 to 40 dollars mm. for the camping site you've spent too much okay. there are cheaper places that mm. you can get for like 10 bucks but they tend to like for example mm. they'll charge you for your tent and then if you want to put a tarp over your tent right. they'll charge you for that too oh and then if you want to buy wood so you can have a fire yeah. and whatnot that's extra okay. and there's all these extras so like so, for the 30 to 40 dollar ones is that stuff included usually, usually for, it, that's usually just like for the space okay right? so, so if every now the and then stuff. i've stayed at free mm. campsites i've stayed at 10 dollar campsites i've stayed at 30 i've stayed at 70 they're all mm. pretty much the same Really? Um, one of my favorites is out in Nagano. Mm. Uh, there's a really nice one near Lake Suako. Oh, like on the lake? Yeah. Oh, cool. I had done a live stream out. Uh, it's the lake from Your Name, that anime. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had done a live stream out there like maybe a month or two ago. Yeah. And I just decided to stay overnight and camp there. That's and so it was cool. so worth oh, it. I want to go. So... I'm so stoked. When it, do you think is the best time to go? There's honestly Which no bad me? time. Um, as long as you have like enough warm sleeping bags yeah. and everything. I'd say camping season has officially kicked off. We're into May and camping season, a lot of the sites will close down around October. Okay. So between now and October All is right. the best part. But the deeper you go into the mountains, the one thing you got to watch out for is if you go into the mountains and you camp near a lake, mm. it'll be warm during the day, but mm. then because you're in the mountains, it gets uh, really, really cold, cold at, at night. night, which isn't the real problem. Mm. The real problem is condensation. Oh, God. Everything's been warm, gets real cold, all of a sudden, all your stuff is wet. Oh, okay, yeah. Like, I can imagine that camping in Japan is a completely different experience than camping in Canada, because yeah. it's not humid at all. No. And uh, the weather's very mild, so... Yeah, I told I wouldn't be prepared for camping here. I'd have to leave it all up to you, because um, you've got the experience. <laughs> how? Hi, Norm. How was the Tokaido walk? I wasn't. I wasn't on that. 
Oh, that was, that was, <laughs> that was that Victor. Was Victor. <laughs> that was Victor. I uh, I didn't do that walk. Wasn't part of it. I there are walks I want to do. Uh, and when is the camping trip? Well, when do you want to go? Um, I'm worried that we shouldn't go like right in the height of summer because I think yeah. like it'll be too hot. And I feel like the inside of the tent will just be horrible because even in it nighttime, actually gets really cool at night. Really? Yeah. Even in the summer. Because, like, even here in Morioka at nighttime, I feel hot now already. <laughs> and we're in northern Japan. So I'm, I'm a little Maybe worried. Sooner rather than later then? Probably, yeah. Okay. Before it gets too hot. Or in October when it cools down. Okay. And uh, Yan Boucher Bouchard is much love from Montreal. Both are oh. awesome. Thank you. Lots of people from Montreal yeah. watching today. Loving the Canada stuff. Can we eat something else? Here's uh, how towards a pop filter for the buzzing. The buzzing is actually my laptop is super old. Yeah. That's it. My laptop is really old, and whatever's in it, I can't record videos with my laptop on oh, because really? this buzzing noise goes through all the electronics. It's like we I'm don't, so sorry. we don't hear it ourselves. Yeah, it's just. You Thank know. you for the patience. I love you. Don't forget. That. <laughs> and cell processing says good evening from Port Angeles. Uh, w A. No, I'm impressed you can read that. <laughs> it's so it's, far yeah, it's, it's pretty tiny. <laughs> it's so funny. There we go. Norm, I'm a huge phone. fan of your videos. Always put a smile on my face, and same to you, Charlotte. Aw, thank, thank you. you. Here's your mosquito repellent covered. <laughs> yes, we're gonna need lots of that. There the, are so many mosquitoes here. <laughs> yeah. The entire thing started because some bug company. Some bug spray company reached out to both of us. Yeah, and like honestly, I was up for it. I was like, yeah, like I'll do a camping video. But then I forget what happened. I was just. They were really lame about something. I yeah, what it was. I can't remember, but I, it was just like. I feel like I suggested that I'd make a camping video or something. And they're like, no. They're like, we no, want no you just to show the product. Include it in your vlog, and I'm like, yeah. what? <laughs> How? And it was like the middle of winter too. <laughs> oh, that's what it when was. When there's so many. That's going. what it was. I was they're like. like yeah, in the summer, we could do, like, a camping video. I could use your bug spray. Yeah. Just, no. And they wanted it now, in the winter, in a vlog. Like, no. <laughs> just chilling in my house with my bug spray. Even though there's no bugs. Just, we're not doing it. Do you want to pick another snack while I read a... I want to pick a snack. Okay. So it says, hello, Norman oh, Charlotte from shitty. Orange County, California. Hello. Oh, these look good. Will you be catching and cooking? Are there any laws against fishing when camping? It depends on the campsite that you go to. Some campsites will allow you to fish and sell you a temporary license for it because you do need that as well as supplies of pools. One of poles is the word I'm looking for. They sell you a temporary license. Yeah. Oh, interesting. You can get that. and uh, But you have to find campsites that have that. One of the best is a campsite out in an area known as Nozodiko. I've never heard of uh, that. I believe it's either Nozori. in Guma or it's like literal. I gotta show you this it's on a map. It's probably Guma because that's like one prefecture that I haven't been to. No. I like honestly. Very okay, much. it is Guma, and but no, when you look at it on a map, you're gonna be like, "How did you find that?" <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Like, Jesus, it's just this lake what? tucked like into in the, the mountains. mountains. Let's see if we can. That's will crazy. it focus? Stop focusing on my face. There we go. So it's like tucked out in the mountains, in the middle of nowhere, and is by far my favorite campsite. Really? Okay. Yeah. But it gets... Is that where you think we should go then? It gets cold at night. And I honestly things get don't moist care. Because it's near oh, okay. Lake. Moist maybe. Yeah. So I don't care about the cold. As long as we've got good sleeping bags, I feel like it would be okay. It's a really good campsite though. Um, okay. And, oh, I gotta catch up on these before we lose them. Uh, What have you chosen? Dragon potato. Dragon potato? Umachiri aji. Again, a snack I've never seen before. Where are they finding these? These are really cool. Like, they're all really cool snacks, but it introduces me to new stuff every single time. They're like, they're little tornado shaped, and it says kami shokkan. Um, uh... Shokan. Shokan, like texture. Texture. It's, no, there's a no. better word for that in English. There's what is it? Shokan. It is texture, but texture is not the word. It's not the word I want. It's like when you bite it, it'll have good bite feel. Bite feel. <laughs> <laughs> they smell good. They look interesting. All right. Here we go. 
This is Oh, they're very they. light. I can just imagine that the shokan is good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Shit, those are good. <laughs> and they're a little spicy mm. too. Like not like spicy, but a little peaty kind of. Yeah, uma chidi. Mm. Nice. They're so light. Oh, these are these are dangerously good. Anna says, sorry for being off topic, but my husband wants to know how Mark is doing. Oh, um, Mark is doing good. Really good. He's actually really enjoying Hiroshima. Um, yeah, he, he's um, happy with the move and everything. It was really yeah. stressful, but now that he's all settled in and his cats are all settled in, he's doing really good. I can't wait to go down and visit him. Beautiful. Also, if you guys haven't done it yet, make sure to give that like button some love. Maybe share the stream somewhere. I'd love to see the number of likes match the number of viewers at some point. I'd love to gamify this stuff. And Catalina Rose says, I love that name too. What a really nice name. I hope I said it right. <laughs> I think Catalina that every Catalina. time she comments. <laughs> I love when you two collab. Looking forward to the video. Have a tea on me. Aww, thank, thank you. you. These are mm -hmm. so addictive. They're really good. I'm, like... I'm going to find these. Um, Megan saying, Hi from Petoski. My husband and I love and adore both of your shows. And we appreciate the positivity that you both exude. Aww. You are amazing. Thank you. Sari is saying, All you need <laughs> to do is convince Chris to go glamping while everyone else is camping. <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> Don't worry. There's would a cabin glam? there. <laughs> would he glam? I think he would glam. It sounds like the thing he doesn't like is like how uncomfortable the tent is or something. Yeah, like the the lack. He always of... whines about the idea of sleeping in a tent, so I think that's his main problem with it. Okay. Oh, Emma's in here. Emma. Tokidoki traveler says hey. leave me be. All right. And... Every time my friends pop into my streams, I always miss their comments, and then yeah. I go back and read them afterwards and feel so bad. <laughs> And Blake asks, Charlotte, how is the kitty adjusting to the move? It's one of the prettiest cats I've Aww. ever seen. What is the breed? Mara says thank you. He's <laughs> adjusting really well. It did take a while. He's been here for a month and... God, what date is it? <laughs> Almost a month and a half now. Mm. Um, he's back to his normal self. He's really playful and he's a brat. So he's I know brat. I know he's feeling comfortable because he's starting to go back to his bratty ways. <laughs> um, he's a Scottish fold. Uh, long haired he's Scottish fold. Too. I was surprised he wasn't more terrified because he's usually very apprehensive. He's a very, right? yeah, he's, he's a very nervous cat, but Just, I think once he realized that it was a safe environment, <clears throat> he felt comfortable again. Thank God. He keeps coming up and smelling. <laughs> he he, he loves you. Like, if I move or look at him, <laughs> run. But he, just... he comes up to smell Norm's feet. It was horrible. <laughs> so, you are not receiving enough video to maintain a smooth streaming. Wonderful. That's not good. How's the stream looking? Are we choppy? Are we choppy? And CGPD6329 <laughs> shared a super chat. There. Did it? Six! <laughs> Uh, Tokidoki Traveler saying, haha, just wishing you guys a great day and hope you are having Aww. better weather than Miss here. Miss you, Emma. Oh, is it shit weather down there? It is beautiful weather it's here. It's very nice here. Not to, not to rub it in, but we're rubbing it in. <laughs> it's, it's very humid though, don't <clears throat> worry, don't be too jealous. So, saying great video quality, lagged a little bit there, but otherwise we are okay. What should we open up next? I just want to eat these chili <laughs> Yeah, I've noticed. Delicious. I've noticed. You're just like, forget the rest of the... Mind you, when I opened the first box, um, the exact same thing happened. Did you find something you really like? I did. Should I tell the people about the new streaming channel? Yeah, do it, do it. I think this is a good... I think if we can get a campsite with good enough like quality, we mm. could do like a camping stream, even like, like a long-term camping stream. That you know what I mean? Exciting. Where we just like set up the camera. Well, to be fair, this is an eternal stream. This so stream is probably we'll going to keep going until we camp. Yeah. I feel like that'd be a really good Black Mirror episode, an eternal live stream. You're just stuck streaming your life. That's it <laughs> for That's eternity. It. So um, okay, I should fine, actually I'll stop eating these. Take them away from me. I should have actually worn Explore Always shirt for this instead mm. of the official human one. That's all right. But, all right. So, new channel mm. for streaming mm. and kind of extra videos. 
Okay, so you're going to do videos as well as streams on there. Put up a, the odd video here. That every now and then I just want to put up something that mm. doesn't have the, the, the pressure of the audience. You know what I mean? Just like a yeah. video that's totally for me. I was thinking about possibly yeah. doing that on my streaming channel, but I don't know because I've called it a streaming channel now. <laughs> and so, otherwise, in the description you will find a channel called Tokyo Lens Explorer. And I forgot to turn off email notifications for uh, when somebody subscribes. Uh, <laughs> so I feel like it's I'm about be to buzzing. hardcore regret that. This is going to go very poorly very quickly. Um, but I would love to have you guys over there. We're going to be doing lots of long form streams. Mm, There's okay. actually a five hour stream that oh I have God. planned for one day. Why five hours? Is it a I secret? am going, yeah, it's a secret. I'm going to, we can't give it away just yet. Okay. I'm going to. Oh, God. Okay, yeah. I see why it's five hours. Yeah. Shit. And the best part is, I'm going to allow everyone over on Patreon mm. to plan it out. Oh, that's fun. So they get mm. to choose every part of it, and I have to follow that. <laughs> That'll be really cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. So if you are interested in lots of long-term streams and everything, and if you are interested in being a part of them, then I personally invite yeah. you to be a part of the patreon crew so you can help set them up the patreon crew's actually been choosing where i go for some of the streams and oh, whatnot that's cool. and yeah. so yeah are you still going to be doing streams on this channel definitely okay so the definitely just the longer form yeah the longer form the... more relaxed more like let's just kind of hang out less mm. formal you know mm. the tokyo lens has really gotten into the the zone of doing more documentaries and deep dives yeah. and stuff and yeah. i kind of like that yeah but i want to keep sense. everything else as well mm. so and aramis lizano says what is the snack you will take camping that I think one. we know Char yeah, Charlotte's <laughs> Charlotte's one hundred percent. So good. Um, honestly though, what I would I bring it. camping? Probably some kind of like breakfast bar type deal. I really like um kind bars. They're like, what's up? This, Ooh, a cola gummy. You often get these at mm. Dagashi shops. Have you yeah. had this? Uh, not that that certain Do one. Do you like cola gummies? Yeah, yeah. Fine. Is this like the cola gummy? The cola gummy. The cola gummy. I like, I like them, but I have them all the this time. This looks sour, so. though. Is it sour? Uh, not super sour. It smells very sour. He's lying. Uh, no, no. <laughs> I saw that I don't, face. don't know what you're talking about, but there is a super chat in here from Chelsea Carpenter, who literally, since I've started the channel, has always been there Aww. and has ended each comment with much love from Arizona. Excited for the new channel, oh, much love from Arizona. Thank you, Chelsea. It's a little sour. <laughs> you have like, very pensive face about it. It's just a little It's sour. not too bad, though. Mm. And cabin or tent? Oh, um, tent. The, tent. Tent. The real question is tent or hammock. Oh, God. That's like, that's a little too hardcore camping. Yeah. <laughs> you can put like a tarp over it and everything. It's quite nice. But like in a country with bears, I feel like a hammock is scary. <laughs> <laughs> so this seems like a collaborative Gumi um, via, via an anime. Can anybody tell us what the anime is? Oh, and Jemaine Full with a three in there with a ten dollar super chat thank you very much really appreciate that and bird. What is that? anna says how nerve-wracking was it to use that crazy expensive 12k camera <laughs> 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 that was fun actually um it was kind of nerve-wracking because if i broke it i would have had to pay for it um That's if you scary. don't know what it's about I borrowed a 12K camera to do kind of a, a joke back and forth with Chris. That's up on the <laughs> channel. You can check that out. Very expensive camera. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of bonkers. But, so the, the abandoned village that I did in that video hmm. is the abandoned village that I went back and did the deep dive mm, on. You guys need to watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. I went... It's really, really good. It's really, really <laughs> well done. I think that's like one of my favorite videos of yours, actually. Yeah? Yeah. I appreciate that. I just happened to find it because I was like, I need a setting for this joke video with Chris. 
That's so random. So that's why you found it. I found it, <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, this place is actually amazing. Why is it abandoned? Why is there so much stuff left behind? Why is there still yeah. clothing hanging up? What is going on? Yeah. And so I committed to going back and living in that area mm. for as long as it took to get the answers. It took two days, and the story's up on YouTube. And all the so. people that he met along the way are so friendly, and yeah, it's really cool. You guys should watch it. It was just such a great time. All right, what are we opening up next? Oh, <laughs> uh, oh what's that? Little Chibi color mugs. balls. Those are cute. Little okay, chocolates. you do that, and I will... I don't like chocolate. <laughs> They're just cute. I was just okay. <laughs> oh, yes. They're like... You want to try this? Sure, what's this? Baby kakimochi. something. Baby kakimochi. All right. <laughs> these are like why does the art look like it was drawn by like a two year old <laughs> no offense to the guy that designed this these are basically just, just smarties yeah they're little smarties the package is so cute this is mochi um, deep fried mochi which is usually amazing oh smells good it smells like oh, wow. seaweed flavor and Brian Hederoth is in here. Have you thought about getting a whole crew together for camping? It would be like an adult Boy Scout camp. That sounds so bad. Um, <laughs> so easy to misunderstand that one. Um, actually, that would kind of be fun. The only issue would be tents, right? You have normal a huge tent. I just picked up like a, a six-person tent almost solely for this purpose. Mm. I do have other tents. Do you? I do have other tents. Thank God. I've got like five sleeping bags just because I kept needing a warmer sleeping bag. <laughs> so one of us will be very warm. And one will be very well, cold. Also, and like, the other is just incredible. You could like put a bunch of them together too. That's a thing that works. Mm. So. I like to open them up and make like a mattress and then have like a proper blanket. Mm. Yeah. Also very much an option one of the mm. ones i have is like an actual two-part set oh and cool and you can like yeah so these are really good so i'm gonna eat them all <laughs> you are gonna eat them all there's like nothing left they're almost as good as the, the bring them back so it doesn't like me hiding the uma chili chips <laughs> from her even though she said take them away from me no i love hmm all right so Carla C is in here with a super chat saying, Hello, Norman Sharla. Hi. Have you guys ever been to Kiyosato in Yamanashi? If not, will you consider exploring the place for the 80s retro vibes? I'm going to say no. I don't Never think I have. have. I don't even think I've heard of it. So. And I'm totally up for 80s vibes. So to my mod squad, if you would be so kind, I would appreciate it if you would uh, link that to me in our Discord. And you know what? Elf Lass, welcome to the Mod Squad. Ooh. I just realized that Elf Lass wasn't on my Mod oh. Squad and should be. Absolutely, positively should be. And where did Kirsten go? Kirsten, leave me a comment so I can mod you as well. Van saying, stay at the uh, Noro Lounge and swim with Captain Addy and Ui. And the otters from the Japanese YouTube channel Addy. That would be the best crossover ever. Never heard of it. What? There's a place you can stay and swim with otters? <laughs> Why have you guys heard of all these cool places? I have seen an otter YouTube channel. The otters were so cute. They went like to a ryokan with their otters. I don't know what? if this is the same channel. But they were like running around the room and they were so well behaved. That sounds amazing. They were like more well behaved than Mara. <laughs> I'm going to have to look that up later on. So, there we go. Kirsten. Welcome to the Mod Squad. These are like some of my longest patrons oh, so awesome. far. Always there, always supportive. Oh. Um, okay, I, I am I'm just going in for another snack. Ooh, what? I just realized, I thought that was the box, but it's Kit Kat. Yes, I just put wraps on them. <laughs> That's what nice. is that? I will tell you right now, I might leave one or two of these with you. It's a but giant I am, pack of Kit Kats. I am 100% bringing this back to Tokyo. That's so cool. I've never seen that package before. Neither have I. These are maple Kit Kats and they look 
absolutely mm. bonkers. Is it Canadian maple? There is a Canadian maple, maple leaf. leaf. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see the word Canada anywhere usually, on the box. Because like, usually, when anything in Japan is maple flavor, it'll be like, from Canada. Maple from Canada. And the guy from uh, Brooklyn Nine-Nine designed the packaging. <laughs> You just made me spit on each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I really like Spiker. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> that's, that's why Charlotte just spit on me. Alright, so uh, Patrick Hessian says, Much love from Michigan, which is quite literally just across Basically the water. Canada. Yeah, from Canada. Do you think there's a best place to camp in Japan, north versus south? Japan is filled with campsites. Like, way more than you'll ever actually be able to find. Mm -hmm. I traveled with Taiki, who's mm -hmm. half Japanese, mm -hmm. And as we're driving along, he's researching nonstop, and like so just a lot of it comes up. But also, a lot of it we drove by mm. that even if we look at it, it's just not listed on Google or anything. Oh, so no there's way. like a lot of campsites oh. that still don't have an online presence, aren't on Google Maps, everything like that. Yeah, and there's, there's just so many campsites now. I've camped in Shikoku. I've camped out in. Kyushu, I've camped in Nagano, I've camped out in Saitama, in Gumma. So I have not camped down in northern south. Japan. Yeah, yet. should we do that then? Let's do Let's that. Let's do a North Japan camping trip. All right, so I am trying these maple Kit Kats. Also, Tokyo Treat, uh, the, the boxes and everything are all linked in the description. I do not get a kickback for that, but if you order from the link, it makes me look good and it lets me do more giveaways and stuff because people are like, oh, people enjoy it from Norm's channel. So if you do choose to order from Tokyo Tree and you use those, it means that moving forward, I can do more of these and give away more snacks, which is something I'm like, this smells really good. I'm so I, As soon as you opened that, I was like, pancakes. Oh my God. <laughs> these smell like those Dare maple cookies. They do. Yeah. Wow, that's like a flashback. Mmm. Mm. They're very good. Are they better than these? They're different. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can beat these. You just... The... No. <laughs> They're so good. No. Alright. How's the Kit Kat? It's amazing. Um, honestly. I don't really like, like white chocolate. Mm. But oh my god. This is, just, you know what, decide for yourself. Um, <laughs> Smell Charlie is saying, hey Norm, have you ever used a red digital camera? Uh, no, I stick more with black magic stuff because of the simplicity, because red has a lot of proprietary devices that you need to attach to the camera, and they're all super expensive. Mm. Whereas black magic stuff, like for example, I don't need to buy some crazy cassette just to put in it. I can just attach any... USB-C hard drive and record right onto that and we're good. Mm. So I like how Blackmagic has tried to make everything accessible and cost effective. This is not sponsored. This is just, I like them. For example, GoPro. That's how I feel about GoPro. Okay. <laughs> GoPro can just... GoPro. Okay. In every way. The GoPro Hero 9 is by far the worst camera oh, no, and it? i was partnered with gopro for like the longest time That's but so that sad. is my honest opinion it is just the worst piece of camera equipment it's that so has ever been released it's it so has so much potential and then they just don't work properly. and it like works 30 percent of the time mm. I'm looking for. I, that's one of and the you reasons I fell in love. you can't have that with an action camera. No. You need it to work all you the need time. It to, and work. Yeah. It's why I'm falling in love with Insta360 because their mm. quality is great. Mm. And it works. It actually turns It actually on. works. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Uh, howdy from Brisbane, Australia. I should bring the snacks back in. Sorry. I'm just like, <laughs> get the snacks away from Keep Charlotte. Keep them away she from Charlotte. them all. Uh, pick something. Um, howdy from Brisbane, Australia. One of my favorite places oh, on this. the planet. I will. Yeah. There's only one of them. Is it okay? That is totally fine. You can have the mini melon pan. Mini melon pan. So okay. this is a little tea flavored cookie. 
And Norm has a mini melon pan. That's so cute. Let's give it a shot. Again, I've never seen these. Where are they finding these cute candies? This is, again, this is one of the things that I really like about every time I get a Tokyo Treat box, it has some stuff I know and a lot of stuff I don't. I, I honestly want to say the only thing I've seen are mm. these. I've seen these in the store before. Oh, and I've seen these possibly. Um, but the rest, yeah, mm. I don't know these candies. The metal bun is really soft is and good. Is it soft? No. Kocha so, cookie. Peter. Oh, it smells nice. Howdy from Brisbane. Um, currently planning my own mm -hmm. hike mm -hmm. and camping trip. Would love to uh, one day do some camping in Japan. You gotta watch out for bears, but also. This is so nice. It's from Brisbane. They taste like Earl Grey. Really? Mm-hmm. You. Bugger. <laughs> oh, I thought you said ew. That's <laughs> what? <laughs> um, Chelsea Carpenter is saying that she just got this crate delivered and it was really good. Enjoy. Oh, the same one. Yay. <laughs> um, JAB888 says, Sharla, I like that necklace. Looks classy. Oh, thank you. Will also, will the two of you be doing any Olympics videos? <laughs> no. The answer to that is a resounding... <laughs> Screaming no. We all want the Olympics not to happen. It's just... We're hoping just that they won't. I'm actually like super curious about the mochi. I, I am too. It's a key kind of okay. day too. Yeah, alright. Then we're gonna check out the mochi as sakura I read. Sakura season's over, but we can still enjoy the sakura mochi. The... Okay, can you... Op oh, you do that. I'm gonna read this. Ooh. And oh, they're in two little packs so we can each have one. <gasps> oh, this is wonderful. What a cute little package. Da -da. Da -da -da -da. It and it's got a little focus. stick to eat it. This is not, it's not focusing. Oh. It's okay. Um, <laughs> so Issa H says, hi from Florida. Uh, going to the Smokies in North Carolina to hike. Any tips for new hikers? Backpack, must have. Charlotte, please That's give so Motto good. a pat for me. I will. Um, honestly, safety that. is everything. Make sure that you have enough water. Make sure that you have some kind of emergency contact device mm. if you're going to be going anywhere. Oh, that... yeah, you have something, don't you? I, yeah. I was going to ask you about that. What is that? How does that work? So I have this thing, again, not sponsored, called a Garmin InReach Mini. Garmin? It's like a s Garmin, Garmin by the, the GPS company. Mm. Oh. And it connects to the GPS satellites, and I can send preset messages to say, hey, I'm here, I'll be leaving soon, or something like that, so anytime you, I don't have connection. You type it in on the device? How do you... There's like preset messages like built, built in. Built into it? Oh. So I just hit cool. send, and it goes off. Huh. And then... They are I've interesting. They're before. very floral. So it's got sakura flavored mochi on the outside and green tea in the middle, I think. Mm. It's like a... Mm. It takes you through a journey of flavor. It really does. At first it was really floral, but now it tastes like matcha. Yeah. Whoa. See? And then, I told you. What? I told you. And then <laughs> the <laughs> ending is like kind of rose? Yeah. And then there's like a hard left at the end before slamming on the brakes and hitting your what face the on heck? the dashboard. Why does that happen? <laughs> yeah. Why did it change like that? These are an absolute journey. So safety is everything. If I had to say, make sure that you have bear spray, make sure that you have proper shoes with ankle support, make sure that you have enough water, and make sure that you have some way to contact the outside uh, if you end up in a place with no uh, signal. And I would say um, bring some kind of like emergency blanket to keep you warm in case you get stuck mm. somewhere in a storm or something and it gets really cold. One of those metal blankets. What are they called? They're made out of like aluminum or something? The space blankets? Space blanket. These are so weird. Yeah. That would, and you ate another one. I like them. Wow. There you go. I enjoy them, but if you like them... I yeah. enjoy the weirdness of them. <laughs> it's so that was, strange. That was the flavors so busy. just come out of nowhere. <laughs> that was like hard left, hard right. <laughs> like just all over the place. Uh, hello from Tennessee. Love the Abandoned Village videos. Thank you very much. Mm. Honestly, by far my favorite videos I've made so far just mm. because the adventure was I was going to ask, yeah. They looked like they were fun to make. Like, it was actual exploration. Mm. Just tracking stuff down. Mm. Um, what camping gear do you own and what gear would you like to get? Uh, I own tents, sleeping bags. I have several hammocks, uh, sleeping pads. I know what you need. 
a tiny chair. I need a tiny chair. I don't have a tiny chair. <laughs> we were looking at camping gear yesterday, and they had the tiniest chairs in the world. Like, at first, we saw chairs that were probably, like, I want to say a little bigger than this. Mm. And then we saw a tinier chair. Like, the seat was, like, two, like three inches by three inches. And that was a chair. Mm. I guess if you balance yourself properly on it, it could be a chair. Or um, if you just let it in. We're going to have to get some <laughs> tiny chairs for our camping trip. Yeah. I have all the basics, them. but I, oddly enough, don't have a chair. So I think mm. a good champing, a champing care. Champing care. <laughs> I need a good champing care. <laughs> For roasting marshmallows, you need chairs. Absolutely. And, oh, I have fallen behind just a touch. Uh, okay. So, Barb Wright. Hi, Barb. Says, are the campsites a private or public or mixture? Uh, mm. Is the more... Uh, is one type more rustic or developed than the other? There are public ones that are owned by the city and whatnot. There are free mm. ones that you can just kind of roll up. You don't need to book. That's are... so cool. I, I honestly didn't know that. The majority of them are privately owned. There mm. are a few on public lands, like national parks and stuff mm. like that. But those actually tend to be more expensive because they're owned by the government. And the government's like, ha ha. Mm. And so there's all different types. I've never really considered like which I'm staying at. Mm. I'm cheap. So I'm like... How low can we go? Hmm. Oh, that's my consideration. We should do like a comparison video, like comparing a free campsite to like an expensive campsite. That's what I did campsite. last year. Oh, did you do it it's already? Like five campsites. Stealing your ideas. Ranging from... <laughs> <laughs> it just means I had a good idea. <laughs> so stay yeah. ranging from... I'd love a, to see the differences. Like a free one all the way up to like, mm. like a borderline glamping site. Yeah. And the one guy... From the glamping site, I ended up going back. And mm. he's like, you're the guy who made the video. Um, and he's like, take whatever you want. Aww. And I'm like, I'm not going to rob really you. Happy about it. He's like, no, no, no. Here's some A5 beef. Here's some wood. Aww. And then like, he actually drove down to my campsite with like three extra bundles of Aww, wood so and nice. extra meat and sausages and everything. I love that when everything. you like, make a video about someplace and then they get lots of customers and they're so like happy it, about it. He's like we uh, he's like within a couple days of the video going up because i also made one for yahoo japan mm. he's like all of our reservations filled up, and i was like oh yes. that's awesome so and william c saying hi charlotte and norm speaking hi. of kyushu when was the last time you've been is there a place you want to visit when was the last time you kyushu? went to kyushu i'm gonna have to think about that for it must have been journey across japan one hmm. so two years ago I don't think I've been back to Kyushu since. Oh, no. I could be wrong. <laughs> I'm traveling all over the place and I forget often, but I think <laughs> it was two years ago. Um, I'd love to go back. I really, really enjoyed it. Where was your favorite spot? Mm, like, Sakurajima. Yeah. It's so cool. There's just this, like, volcano. And you can get such a... It's, like, a, such a perfect-looking volcano. And you can um, hike up this hill and get such a nice view of it. Um, yeah, definitely that area. <laughs> what have you found? No, I was just thinking the irony of where I lived for the last Oh, week. yeah. <laughs> Don't spoil it. Um, so I actually just got back from living in Kyushu Whoa, for spoilers. a short period of time. <laughs> I won't say where I lived in Kyushu, but I will it say... It definitely I, wasn't Sakurajima. I definitely didn't <laughs> live on an active volcano for a week. <laughs> Moving on. So I am Ray. Hi, I am Ray. Uh, hey, you two from Barrie, Ontario. This is super so cool because my a bunch of my like my brothers and sisters live in Barrie. Oh no way! Yeah, so mm. I am Ray. Next time I'm in Canada, drop me a DM. We'll go to that local pub and we'll get the beers. Um, <laughs> ever consider doing a hiking, uh, camping trip? Like ah uh, yeah yeah, like uh, Kumotori near Tokyo might be a fun challenge. So, if you hike through mm. paths in Japan, mm. while it's not technically official campsites, you can set up your tent alongside rest areas in oh, no the, way. the hiking. Oh. But this comes with increased risks. One of the big benefits that mm. a campsite gives you is the noise of people and lights, which means bears mm. will avoid the area naturally. But if you are in a space that does not have lights mm. or people... Yeah, like if you're just hiking... You're along just... a route and like hiking paths don't have lights in Japan. No. So. Mm, yeah, that's a little scary. All right, we're down to the small stuff. 
I want. Is there anything? Oh in yeah, there? I wanted that color changing cat candy. The color changing cat yeah, candy. It's so cute. It says, "Candy no ido de kyo no." Why is the kanji so blurry? But it means luck. Go. Ricardo. It's like literally just a it's black just black splotch. This is a apparently cheese. So I'm gonna see if it tastes anything like cheese. Okay, so um, mm. the candy black cheese. Did I hear that right? It's, it's horrible. No, <laughs> not black cheese. It wasn't. What? What did I hear you say? No, it, it's like a block of a cheese. A block of cheese. Okay, so it's a purple candy. Um, after I eat it, it's either gonna change red for really lucky, yellow for kind of lucky, or green for shit luck, I guess. <laughs> oh, it tastes like grape. Okay. I wonder how long I have to. <laughs> All right, so we'll just have Sharla spitting out her candy every few minutes for the rest of the train. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> it reminds me of like when you're a kid and you have those <clears throat> giant bomb stoppers. The like, like breaker. We are down to a roll cake, a Ika Sembe, some little damune, and the Fanta, which I'm just going to give to... Is that green? Uh-oh. <gasps> I'm not going out with you today. <laughs> <laughs> hit by a truck. <laughs> All right. On that note, Sachi in here with a 610 yen super chat saying, Hi, Norman Sharla. Uh, where would you want to go camping? Mountain, lake, river, beach, or grand camping site? River. Okay. I like swimming in rivers. Okay. Leeches. Mm. Oh. <laughs> we got a thing here. I don't know. I've never, got, I've never had one actually. Mm. Um, yellow. We go. will live. We will live. Okay. So what does yellow mean again? I like, already forgot. Like okay luck. Okay luck. Like not bad. Like I think it's still considered lucky. Okay. Uh, I would go with mountain, uh, just because less condensation, and I don't like waking mm. up and having everything wet. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and Diane is saying, just signed up for the Sakurako box subscription. <gasps> We've got a Sakura. Can we open it? I'm, I'm dying okay. to see what this yeah. looks like because so, the package is so pretty. This one here, I vastly, vastly misestimated last time I did a stream. What do you mean? I left it till the end and I was like, oh, I'm going to open this one yeah. up at the end and going through. And like, is there lots it's of stuff small. In it? It's small. It's heavy though. Yeah. It's really heavy. Like, like I can imagine like it probably cost. Oh my lord! Like it must have cost that a lot kinda, to send. I'm not gonna lie. Overseas. That hurt my wrist a little. <laughs> so that heavy. <laughs> no, like I wasn't prepared. It would actually hurt your wrist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My wrist was like. Ugh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let Sharla Yay. do the honors of opening this one. Can we just show off the box? I really and how like. I like the box. I kept my old box. I I would too. You could use that for storage. Put your makeup in it. Are you ready? That's what I do. I keep that makeup in there. <laughs> and your man full in there with $3. Thank uh, you. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Is that Yuzu? Is that a postcard? Hello to our Sakura Ko family. June in Japan brings with it the warm summer months along with the rainy season. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it has started. Cool. So this is a citrus theme. Oh my God. It's so pretty. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. so it's like wagashi. And check out, this is one of the things that like, and okay, tea. you get the book and your first instinct, you're excited about the snacks, right? Yeah. So you take the book out and you put the book aside because you, <laughs> you expect it, because <laughs> you expect it to be like every other yeah. book, right? But more. Oh, Look wow. Look how detailed that is. Oh my God, they've done such a, do they make this every month? And I'm it so says impressed. stuff like this. It contains the allergens. It lets people know. Oh, that's know, really like, cool. Yeah. This is something that other snack boxes don't do. Um, they don't tell you about allergens. And this one like labels Let's if it's vegetarian it. friendly. Yeah, we can get that a little closer. if it has any certain allergens in it. Yeah. Is it showing? Yep. So it's got all the information on there. I really, really like what Sakura Ko does with the, again, everything's linked. And if you choose to, to order through there, it means that I can give more of these away to you guys for free. Cause that's what we're doing today. And I'm going to let Charlotte go through I'm this. So I'm so impressed with this. The I'm just so impressed with that they make this every box. Yeah. That's a lot of work putting that together. Right? Okay. Um, Oh, I wish we could make a tea. Too bad I don't have hot water. Right oh, now. no. That'd be nice. 
Ooh, would pie be. komachi. Pie komachi. You will just fall in love with the first bite. <laughs> I'm trying not to sneeze. <laughs> what is this? <gasps> I sneezed. That looks so interesting. Oh, is that a tart? Yeah, it's a tart. Oh my lord. You try that. Oh, there's actually two of them. We can each have one. Fruits? Yeah, that's Let's the other thing that I love about Sakura Oh, there's Koba. lots of... Okay. There's two. Yes. I that's probably cute. could have set Charlotte up for that, but the thing that I love the most about the Sakura Ko box is that you can sit down and share it with somebody because there's two of everything. Oh, everything. Yeah. Oh, that's... It's like... I don't know if it's... 100% that's everything, nice but it's cause, like meant we were, to be shared. We were fighting over things before. Like, yeah, we're, but now we can each have one. We were, we were fighting, and I lost. Charlotte left me you crumbs. Didn't try very Thank you for the crumbs. They're like, mmm, delicious crumbs. They're so good. That's a really neat idea, cause you like sit down and have a tea, right? And have snacks with your friend. Um, what a cute date that would be. Come over and eat my Sakura Kobox. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so bad. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this smells so good. When you said, what a cute date, I was like, oh, are there dates in this? <laughs> <laughs> Why would a date be cute? It smells Were really nice. Were you about nice. to cheers me? Yeah. I was gonna. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> um, and as I do this, JAB888 mm. says, mm. terrible questions. Oh no. Norm, would you ditch 8K and shoot medium format film stills only? Um, no. No, I... What? Uh, just, would you take your entire process and just make it a heck of a lot more difficult? Oh, oh And okay. are you ready for the terrible question I'm for ready. you? I think this is terrible questions only. Okay. Sharla, <laughs> would you ever eat a horse in Japan? A horse? Oh, I've eaten a horse before. It was disgusting. Uh, I did it once and never again. That was a very long time ago. Raw horse, actually. And mm -hmm. I was so grossed out. You probably didn't start your day expecting to eat it either. I no, I, did, I didn't know I was eating it. It looked like Magado. And this asshole that I was hanging out with was like oh here have this and i just, i was just thinking it was magaro and then i ate it i was like this tastes really gross and he's like yeah it's horse <laughs> and raw horse i would not have been forgiven i was that. not happy <laughs> this is really nice it tastes like a cake mm. i need to wait until i have a drink with it mm. I, it would be nice with a tea. I wish we could make a tea i'm gonna set it aside and save it <laughs> uh art shibuya oh, saying hey, art. Uh, it says, the tenth time trying to send a super chat, hopefully it goes through. Aw, was it not uh, working? Maybe you can it use it for through. some bear spray for your trip. Thank you. We were just looking at bear spray because obviously oh, we should pick some up. It was, tell, tell them how much it was. <laughs> so, a single can of bear spray is about a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. I was if shocked. You never, you know, what is it made out of? I thought it was just pepper Actual spray. bears. <laughs> <laughs> the essence of bear. It's, uh, like I thought it was just pepper spray. Why do they sell it for a hundred dollars? It's so expensive. Um, but like, you really should have some because yeah, you never know. You, you want to make sure that you're safe. Mm. So... That's, yeah, $100 for bear spray. This is really nice. It even has raisins in it, which I'm really happy about. It is really good. I, I love raisins. Next time that I come to visit... Are you going to bring another Sakura Co box? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bring do. you coffee. <laughs> I I'm don't like bring coffee. You, I'm going to... Okay, let me rephrase this. <laughs> Next time I come to visit, I'm going to bring my coffee. And I'm just going to leave it here so that when I come to visit, oh, there's okay. coffee. Okay, fair enough. I do have a coffee machine for friends, but it's not the best. It, the coffee's good. It's just, I'm like, I'm Canadian, right? So I'm used to an extra large double-double. Um, fair right? enough. Right? That's like, the only coffee, like, coffee that I like. Yeah. Oh, there's so many cool things in here. What Squeeze the next? spray and out pops a bear. That would be terrifying. Yeah, there's so much. Like, this okay. is huge. Should we, like, maybe show? I don't know how we can show. We'll just dump the box as we show you. It was just so, so here, we, you take off the first layer. Okay. Can they I'm going to face this, this way and is we'll it, start doing a bit of a, oh. <laughs> a, <bit of> a <laughs> walkthrough. Okay, so starts off with some genmai cha. Some, some I tea love right genmai. If you've never tried genmai, it's a mixture of roasted rice and green tea. And it's a little sweet. And I find that if you're... Oh. 
not really used to drinking green tea and you find it like not the best flavor but you want to get used to drinking it genmai is like a good in between it's really easy to drink this one here is about to get opened instantly What's because that? this is saku saku aonori 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 oh and it's saku saku which is an onomatopoeia for being it's kind of crispy like flaky a flaky i would call it flaky that's I could be much wrong, better though. and this is a uh, kuri maron so maron how do you explain chestnut? a maron chestnut yeah is kuri chestnut kuri is like chestnut and maron is also chestnut <laughs> and it's like a little pie <laughs> in my mind both maro and kuri wow chestnut. that is just a full-on toraiyaki that's like heavy it is i think i'm gonna walk over to the post office mm. today put this in the mail and just send it to chris <laughs> why <laughs> so random. <laughs> Can you imagine just getting this in the mail? Like, don't even put a <laughs> return so address sketchy. ready. <laughs> Eat this. Don't I ask you. All right. Um, what are these? Ebi said? Uh, ume wasabi. What? <gasps> okay, we're having those now. We got to take a little break. Okay. A little break from show and tell to try the ume wasabi. I thought they were ebi. I'm not a fan of ebi, but um, they're plum wasabi flavored rice and crackers. A couple extra super chats in here. Uh, oh, taco petrol head. A tip for the bear spray fund. Mm. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Oh, Don't thank know you. what this was. What kind of forever? I, <laughs> I, I, just, I just like. Can we yeah. cheers? Oh, yeah. One you know, I'm, I'm going to grab one of the. Okay. I'm not a huge Ume fan because oh, of no the way. shiso. Cheers. Let's see if I, I don't like think it. there's shiso in them, though. Oh, shit. Wow, those are good. That's like a. That's mm. like a punch in the nose. Yeah, it's I'm very wasabi bing. at first. <laughs> and then you <laughs> and then you feel the ume. Yeah. Mmm, I mm. love them. It's good. I will open up mine. So, uh, thank you for the, the tip for the bear fun. And Molly in here saying, I love Japanese snacks. Clearly, so do we. Mm. There's so much variety. You see, when we started this live stream, it's actually kind of weird to be having snacks at 9.30 in the morning. It was, but, but I'm it's like, stoked. But it's like, it's lunch that. now, you know? <laughs> true, true. It's like 11 a.m., <laughs> That's so. That's true. Mmm. And Charles saying, do you have any life-threatening camping stories? Do you? Oh, yeah. I don't. I got a couple. Oh, God. And they're More all from one. Japan. Oh, no. So, one of the first ones is... Um, Last year when I did the camping trip at Taiki, mm. uh, we found a free campsite deep out in the mountains and a typhoon was coming. Oh, no. And we had already committed to going there, but the, the road kept getting narrower and narrower. Mm. And it was this weird road that just had a sheer drop off down a cliff. Like what would have been 20, 30 like stories. The edge of the road. 20, 30 stories. Like it just went all the uh. way down. And it felt like one of those like Nepalese weird roads that the cars drive okay, along. That's scary. And... We were like, if the typhoon comes through this area, we're going to be stuck here. But we couldn't go back. There was nowhere to turn around. I wasn't backing And you're not going to back road. up that road. And so we finally get to the campsite. Oh and there are bear and boar warnings all over the site. <laughs> all over the campsite. No wonder it's free. You can actually see this in our video and in the behind the scenes video of it. Like, it, it's all in there. And... So we were like, we have no choice. We got to get the, the tent set up as mm. fast as possible, hunker down for the night, <laughs> hope the typhoon doesn't arrive. We had oh zero God. signal, which is fine because it's a campsite. You mm. need to expect that. But we are fully prepared to have to walk three or four hours down the mountain. Yeah. Because we were like, we, like if trees get knocked over and stuff, we won't be able to get oh, out. Oh, Christ. It that sounds was. horrible. Those roads are so sketchy. It was really, yeah, it was... They never give you anywhere to turn around, those tiny little roads. No, they Once don't. You get, like, I always wonder, what would you do if a car came at you from the other direction? You'd just be screwed. Yeah, like, You'd some of them have, like, little spots up. you can pull over, but it's not enough space to do, like, a three-point turn. turn. Mm -hmm. Like, you could do, like, a 35-point turn, and you're like... Mm -hmm. da, 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 and, like, <laughs> in, like, a pinch, I've, I've done that. Like, mm -hmm. in a pinch, I've just been like forget it we're doing exactly that um let's see i actually you can actually see the there we go there you can see the roads oh there. that's scary there's no guardrails or nothing <laughs> like, no. look at that 
edge of death. It's literally just the edge of death. Thank you. <laughs> so I would say that was probably the biggest one. The other one was being stuck at the top of a mountain in Kyoto with mm. uh, Victor. And we were in a torrential downpour. In set Kyoto. up our hammocks. Yeah. And we set up our hammocks and everything. In and a then torrential downpour. It was under like an awning. Was um, it like protecting you from the rain? Yeah. Oh, okay. And we... We didn't have a tent at the time, mm. so we just did hammocks. And then we went to walk out to find the bathroom. Mm. And it was like, this campsite is currently closed due to multiple bear sightings. Oh my and god! Were, like, signs everywhere. Currently and Vic- closed, and you're like, why are we on? And Victor's <laughs> like, I'm not sleeping tonight. Bro. I'm not <gasps> sleeping tonight. Oh so. my god. I have yet to run into a bear, though. Um, one of the things that I do is I leave a podcast playing all night. So does just any sound put them yeah. off? So a human voices, mm. they, they avoid. So I have this giant battery thing that I use, and I hook it up to my phone, and I mm. just play a podcast loudly all night. That's smart. And it just kind of keeps them away. Hmm. So, Tokyo Lens Podcast. <laughs> we should record an episode! <laughs> yeah. Shameless plug. What could we talk about? What should we talk about, guys? Let us know. I just want to talk about camping. Somewhere. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's and... all we're talking about. Uh, Amy, thank you very much. Amy is saying, here's some bear spray from Anchorage, Alaska. Thank you, Amy. Alaska, that's so cool. And William C. in here. Holy, okay, you know, we're getting the bear spray. Aww, that's it. Thank um, you, William. Wow. William C. in here is saying, bear spray fund. Watching you two <laughs> snack on delicious stuff makes me want some tea. Make some. Go make some. So. I really want one. Have one for me. <laughs> I've got water. Actually, bit. there's a lot of people like, yeah, talking about mono and whatnot. I'd actually love to hear the process in detail of what it required to bring a like a vehicle, oh genetic cat, vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> a cat into Japan because yeah. it is super tough, and I think not a lot of people it's realize how tough it is. There it's are snacks tough. everywhere. Yeah, like my house looked. Clean you know what? You I'm, I'm gonna here. I'm gonna show this. I'm sorry. <laughs> so this right now, yeah, it's quite the there mess. are there are just snacks absolutely everywhere, All and over it's the floor. just it's a it's a terrible terrible mess. It was you worth know. it though. It was just I don't know if I've managed to get this looking okay again or not. I hope so. It looks fine. It's okay. It looks okay. I'm getting full. We ate a lot of snacks. We did eat a lot of snacks. I probably shouldn't eat the whole bag of this. Uh, let's take a look at what's. There's a else cute little taiyaki. You should eat the taiyaki. Can you fit that in your stomach? Can you fit that in your stomach? What is this fresh orange cake? It's this just one? such an aggressive oh, name one. for something. <laughs> fresh <laughs> orange cake, but it's very light. Oh, there's an actual. <gasps> what is that? Jump. I didn't what? even see that. Does it come with a tray? It comes with a tray. There's what? a snack tray. What? That's really cool. Oh, that's so cute. Look at a little fruit jelly. So my last Sakura Ko box came with a little Sakura uh, cup. Oh, no way. Like a, For a tea? tea cup. Oh, <gasps> cute. Oh, that's really cute. That is really cute. That's nice of them to include something. So even what? after you eat all the snacks, you still have something. There's like a Shiratama Zeri kind of thing here as well. Mm. That looks good. Shira Thomas really what? good. What? Oh my lord. Yeah, I'm actually getting... It's really cute. I did the exact same thing last time. I know I should pace myself, but I got super full <laughs> really on the first so box. Much. And then the second box, which is meant this to be, be shared. This could be dinner. <gasps> we'll we have just, dinner. We'll just eat this. For Guess we have to do another sweets stream. Sweets for dinner. <laughs> Speaking again, um, if you guys weren't here for earlier in the stream... Linked in the description box is a Patreon-inspired brand new channel called Tokyo Lens Explorer, mm. which is going to be almost entirely dedicated to live streams. I would love to have you over there. Come over. We'll be doing the odd stream, the odd video, behind the scenes, all over there. Say Pinecone says, anybody know about the old circle trick to keep sea bears away? What? Sea What's bears? a sea bear? What's a sea bear? I know... I know of one trick to keep bears away that I you could call the circle trick that I'd rather not talk about on a stream. Um, 
Speaking of camping, have either of you watched You Do Cam? No, I haven't watched it yet, but gotten a lot of comments. <laughs> we're going to have to watch an episode before we go camping. We can and watch it while we're camping. Cookie Ninja, who... Okay, so the, I absolutely love Cookie Ninja because I would say a few months back, mm -hmm. I said that, you know, for the price of like a single super chat, you could come and be part of the Patreon community for like mm. a month or two or mm. something like that, right? And Cookie Ninja came and tried it out. Aww. And just really nice to have those part Aww. of the community so thank you go-to snack do you have a go-to snack mm. you can see the sugar's got me all riled up now honestly i just like fruit which is an expensive habit here in japan i, um, I eat a lot of fruit and it's so expensive here you took the uh, you hid the the snack that i brought you so i wouldn't eat it didn't you oh yeah it's upstairs yeah you just, you just like you know, nor brought me fruit he knows me so well he brought me dehydrated strawberries and they're so nice they're really um but yeah normally my go-to snack is like whatever is in season mm. in japan fruit wise okay. so at the moment it's golden kiwis golden kiwis mm. okay um, I've actually got a bunch of fruit places near my house <gasps> and some of them are super cheap. So I get like a no full way. size, I, I made a big I've mistake. got to find one. Like there must be one in Morioka that's cheap. I just haven't found it yet. Have you ever tried to eat a whole pine cone by yourself? Pine cone? That was the wrong, <laughs> pineapple. No. Pineapple. <laughs> what? Pine <laughs> All the sugar I'm trying to, to eat any pine cone. Because it was say pine cone had left. Oh, the, right. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> the word pine cone is stuck in my head. Um, uh, a whole pineapple. No, pineapple burns in my mouth. I don't know if that's so, a normal reaction or no, if I'm allergic. It is. No, pineapple is the one fruit mm. on earth that'll eat you back. Yeah, like it's way too acidic for me, yeah. I think. Um, I can't eat it. And I decided to try and eat an entire pine that apple. That can't be. Not pine cone. <laughs> that can't be healthy. It, it hurt more than eating a pine cone because by like everything, I got about I halfway through. I can't even through. eat one little piece. I can't imagine really? eating the whole thing. I got about halfway through. And have you ever like eaten oh. something so hot that your mouth is like gone for yeah, the rest yeah, of the day? Yeah. yeah. Was it like that? It was like that. Oh. And it wasn't good. Um, and Gary Chan in here with a little coffee for $4. That's Thank cute. you so much for that. And that chick in Florida, very descriptive name. <laughs> I can already, I love that. um, I really look forward to the amazing video that the two of you will produce. Thank you. We're also doing a whole bunch of videos we are. during my trip here for Charlotte's channel, yeah. which is We're obviously stuff. linked. <laughs> so if you're just like coming across this and you're like, who's Charlotte? Who's Charlotte? Hi. Oh, um, <laughs> I'm also from Canada. Uh, I make videos about my life up here in North Japan. I live in the northern part of Japan. Hmm. And I got a cat. So probably going to be lots of cats in my videos from here on. And yeah, it's pretty I'm... chill. I like exploring a lot. So when things go back to normal, COVID-wise, I'll be hmm. exploring a lot more again. But at the moment, it's lots of at-home stuff. So yeah, come chill on my channel. But uh, yeah, Norm and I filmed a video yesterday preparing mm. for something that we're going to build. We went out and bought all the stuff and then today we're going to be building it. So You see, Charlotte brought me out because I love doing DIY projects. She's really good at them. And she thought she could rope me into this DIY project. But little does she know <laughs> no. that I'm just going to stand back. No! Poker with a stick. She's doing the DIY. <laughs> it's it's going to be hopeless if you leave this all up to me. We couldn't get the exact that makes like, for better content items though. that we wanted. No, we couldn't. And it's um, going to be hard to put together, I think. Yeah, it's going to be. There's so many snacks everywhere. I just we we really got really carried away. I want a tea. We as soon really... as we're done the stream, I will make us tea because this okay. looks so good. I have to have another one of these Kit Kats. <laughs> okay, like... you can't make fun of me for eating the whole bag of these because you're eating the whole. Oh, bag I've had of three Kit Kats. Kit -Kats. Oh, you ate a whole bag. No, you've had more than three. One, two. Mm. <laughs> Don't you're trust so... you. <laughs> <Some more. laughs> this is Charlotte compensating hard for the fact that she. No, it's okay. I understand. I would eat that whole thing too. It really, so. Good. I forget to what be it fair, was. they're very light and not that many calories. The whole bag is 257 calories, which isn't too bad. I forget what it was so from last time, but last time 
Mm. Like, but something in the bag does the same for me. Just addictive. You just, like, can't stop. There's something in these, I'm telling you. I don't know what it is. Mm. Mm, mm, Huh. Potato pellets. Potato pellets. Potato pellets. Does it say that? Yeah. Pereto. Pereto. I've never heard that word in Japanese. Okay. Must, must be pellet. I've got a couple extra super chats in here. I'm going to read these out. I got JH saying, I'm surprised Chris is not with you. Whenever you have a food and camera, there he is. That's very true, actually. Yeah, we opened a lot of cellophane bags <laughs> and he I hasn't magically him, appeared something yet. Something food related. Yeah. I wonder. <laughs> Shit. No. It's not do 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 Um... Moving on. Dude, my my computer is starting to get like hot. I can hear it. Yeah, the I wonder if the buzzing is getting worse. And Translucent says, what is your favorite music to listen to on a long drive? A band recommendation. The Flash Bulb. It's really chill. Instrumental breakbeat vibes. Do you have road trip music? That I just you make a playlist. There's not one band I like listening to. It's mostly what 80s. What kind of music? 80s. 80s? And 70s. Okay. 70s rock and 80s pop. <laughs> <laughs> I was I'm just so I don't know so much about the 80s stuff. Really? I was gonna say 60s and 70s rock yeah. is my go-to yeah, for yeah. drives. 60s, yeah, probably 60s for me too. So that so, works. A really weird quirk that I still don't know why. Mm. But when I used to do drifting mm. with my S14 Sylvia, mm. oh, you got a Sylvia. I always forget. I put on the helmet, the suit, the yeah. gloves, everything. And you know what music I would blare? What? Bach. What? Mozart. <laughs> Bach. <laughs> I did not expect that. I don't know why. Claire like, de Lune. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> when that? I had a whole bunch of like. That's so weird. I'd hook up and like hardcore tape this MP3 player to my car. Oh. And it was all classics. Huh. Piano and strings mostly. That's interesting. Yeah. And like when I was driving. That just helped me, like, stay in the zone, and huh. I don't know what it was. I just loved, I love the contrast of, like, yeah, sliding a car sideways, with like smoke a, coming out. That's the kind of thing you'd see in a film. Right? Like and an then intense you, scene with some classical music. Yeah, and it just it just felt awesome to have the classical <laughs> I music. I not expect you to say that. No, I don't think a lot of people do. <laughs> and, like, every now and then you would, like, drift past people, but I would have, like, the speakers. Because you also, like, you've got to keep the windows, um, like, fully up so that they don't shatter inside the car and whatnot if you oh. hit a bump and whatnot. Oh, okay. And so... I had like these speakers that projected basically out of the trunk. Yeah. And like I and you like <laughs> go by a line of people and you could they hear the music. That's really cool. So it was You uh, need to make like a drifting documentary now and only use classical music. Only use I think that'd be really cool. I think we can do that. <laughs> Just gotta go up to Evie Circuit. Yeah. So. Oh wow, Kawaii Jess. Um thank you so much. Aww. Um, I'm going to read this one out. It says, I love I'll watching you here. both. Norm, can you force Charlotte, this is a good, uh, um, can you uh, force Chris, sorry, <laughs> Whew, I'm safe, <laughs> to take Charlotte on the road trip? What also, road trip? Uh, um, did he mention a YouTuber road trip that was brought up in his most recent stream? Anyways, yes he did. So, Oh, uh, is he planning like a road trip or something? No, so in Chris's most recent stream... There was a topic that came up. Um, I was only there for the camping part. <laughs> I, and I, I left before you guys talked about a road trip. So, you remember a couple of years back, we did the Grand Old Road Trip. In, up here. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. So, uh, you can find that it on really Charlotte's fun. channel and my channel. There was a Grand Road Trip that has me, Victor, Sharla, Chris, Chris's buddy. Like, all of us went on oh, this yeah. multi-day road trip. Across Tohoku, all the way up to Aomori. In the fall, so it was really yeah. pretty. Uh, we picked you awesome. up in a rice field. We need to field. do that again. Yeah, a really pretty rice field. A yeah. Pretty yellow rice field. I remember that. And uh, I believe there was a talk of something along the lines of have 
a great, like a very large scale version of one of those, with, like a ton of That'd YouTubers. Cool. Well, honestly, I feel like our group was already pretty big. Yeah. If you make a group too big, it's really hard to find places to like eat in Japan because mm. you can't all sit together and stuff. So. And the one thing that people don't think of is it's really hard to when the larger the group, the harder it is to actually film because you kind of it's have to take hard. turns. Yeah, and right? you feel bad like, oh, I haven't really filmed with that person much. Maybe yeah. they feel left out. It makes it a lot harder when there's filming involved. Yeah. And so like also just, driving because like yeah. what would we drive if we brought more than four or five people? It would have to be a bus or I something. I would drive the bus. A camper. I would oh, you drive, drive a camper? I would can we drive rent a camper. camping van? We and can do that. Camp across. Japan in a van? Yes. Is that a thing? I never see thing. camper vans here. I rented a camper van with TC a while back. Um, Let's do that. Yeah. We could all split a camper van if you're up for driving. I am very much up for driving. That'd be really cool. I just uh, my only camper van fear across Japan. What a great is like name. going through like a narrow tunnel and like having the top ripped Big off. Rip the off. Van. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. So say pine cone and I did <laughs> says I have to go, but it was fun hanging out with you guys for a bit. Also, a sea bear is a SpongeBob reference. Okay. Oh, okay. I've actually never seen an episode of SpongeBob in my life. Oh. So I didn't catch that reference at all. And Art Shibuya says, I think he's planning another trip across Japan. Another one? Wouldn't that be bonkers? <laughs> Ridiculous. I think he should... You know what he should do this time? Totally original idea. Do the entire thing on a bicycle and upload videos daily. That's a great idea. I think we should You should do that. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you eating? Oh, was that the same one? The, the oh, the Kit Kat. Kit -Kat. <laughs> <Come> <laughs> like, damn you and your Kit Kat. <laughs> yeah. So, I think we we should do some form of like large scale road. I think yeah, what we need I, to do. I is... love road trips. I wish that people wanted to do them more often. I feel like we don't do enough of them. We're in like the best road tripping country. I feel. Yeah. It's so nice driving around Japan. Like the scenery is just amazing. It's beautiful everywhere. Mm. And especially up here, there's not too much traffic, so mm. it's great for driving conditions yeah i think when the world kind of recovers a bit mm. we should do like a celebratory that'd be cool like large scale multi-video road mm. trip i'm up for that because um, you fall. haven't really explored shikoku that much no, either um down south yeah shikoku i definitely need to spend more time exploring and also kyushu so there's an area in Shikoku, mm. known as the unexplored zones of Japan. Oh, what? Because, like, yeah. nobody goes there? Because nobody goes there. Huh. And That'd be a they're... great title for a series. The unexplored zones of Japan. Damn it, I should have... Episode one. I'm on my way. <laughs> no, I take it. I claim it. <laughs> Damn it. But yeah, that'd be cool. So, so is it, like, really, like, out in the mountains? Or like... It's out in the mountains, and mm. it's just a, a kind of wide-ish area. Mm. Like, you saw the, the video with the gentleman who lives in the abandoned school. Yeah. That is in one of Japan's uh, unexplored okay. zones. Huh, and cool. so it's just there's a whole area it's so beautiful mm. like it's just yeah, like you mm. you really know shikoku right no, so that'd be kind of cool because yeah i don't really know it so you could show it to me and you could just so much to yeah. do and see but it's shikoku you time. really need a car as well like you could do oh, it by 100%. train nah, but it wouldn't be fun though it wouldn't you'd it be wouldn't. so tired like lugging yeah. around your stuff there's a walk that I really want to do Ooh, this year. I'm up for year. a walk. I love walking. Where, where? Uh, Just not in the heat, please. It's <laughs> a very oh beautiful God. walk through mostly forested areas. Okay. Uh, and we're looking like at least 50 kilometers mm -hmm. of walking. Um, so I need to get a lighter bag. I can do that. Okay. All right. Uh, Kawaii Jess says, invite Rachel and June, please. Oh, I haven't seen I them in so long. Last time I saw them was like before the. They're world really busy with their house and stuff right now, aren't they? But that'd be awesome if they could join. We were supposed to be going out to North Carolina together mm. uh, for the Animazement. Oh, no way! We, uh, yeah, we started doing Animazement, uh, and then yeah. the world was like. <laughs> so. That's too bad. And Miria, I believe, Mariah, says, have you ever thought of doing a road trip where you hit up as many festivals as you can? The planning for that would be that would wild. Be, it would be tough. It wouldn't be impossible. 
I want to say We just got to like, map the festivals. Yeah, because I don't know if the timing would work. Yeah. Because it's like... There's not always a festival happening every day in all different locations, right? It's like, this one is on July 10th, and this one over here is on August 8th. So that'd be tough, I think. Um, Especially this year, most of the festivals are canceled. Uh, They were for last year anyway, so I'm assuming they will be again this summer. I feel like 2022's gotta be... 2022's gotta be the year. It'll be back. It'll be back in 2022, I think. And Mikey in Vegas is saying, Hi Norm, what is your favorite part when you check out those abandoned houses? Mm -hmm. I'm learning so much about the Japanese culture. Um, Honestly, I loved the exploration. Mm. Uh, Because as I said, I committed to staying in the abandoned village area for as long as it took for me to meet enough people. Mm. You did Um, such a good job at meeting people. I was so impressed by how many people you got to talk to in your video. It was... They were really like up for being on camera and chatting. Uh, and just mm. chasing a story. Like, I'm not a journalist. I'm not an investigative journalist. Mm. I'm a content creator, it, but like, it feels like that. You like, chasing a are, story. Though. Yeah. And each person I ask them, is there anyone you know or can introduce uh, who would be interested in sharing their story? That's a good way to do so, it. one person can link to two or three. Mm. I just rocked up to the dam. Mm. There was a closed office. I pulled open the doors. Mm. And like, just literally, people inside. just pulled open the doors, and I saw shoes, and I was like, see, my head. And this woman came down, wow. and I was like, I'm trying to document the history of this area. Huh. Do you know anybody who lived in one of the villages? Uh. And she's like, yeah, I do. Huh. He used to work here. Uh, wow. He's retired. I will give him a call. And this, like, no old guy, way. like, she drives out in his car. Uh. And he told me this whole story about how, like, the the abandonment of the village, like, ripped friends and families mm. apart. And, like, people's lives were ruined. And, like, oh, it was just such an amazing story. Yeah. And I was like, where should I go next? And he's like, drive the streets early in the morning, 6 a.m. Mm. That's when the locals who used to live in the village walk and Maybe reminisce. Out. Huh. Find them. They come back and just walk around. And I'm like, okay. And that's how I found the beekeeper. Yeah. That guy was cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Was... If you guys haven't seen it yet, go watch it so you can know what we're talking about. It's a really, really good video. And Muskoka says, you guys should make 1,001 camping nights with That's Charizard a lot of nights. And Thor as the storyteller. That's a lot of nights. It was 1,001 yen. Aw, that's awesome. So, there is a, yeah. Ooh, we could do ghost stories around the campfire. There is a, there is I a I really comment. loved it when I asked my viewers to send in ghost stories and I read them in a live stream. That was really fun. Not a live stream. Did I do a video or a live stream? I think it was a live stream. So we people do that around the campfire. Yeah. Okay. As long as we can get that, because I got that giant power bank. Yeah. So we could stream like this really while cool. camping. If we have a connection. If we have if a connection. We have a connection. That's the iffy part always. Um, yeah. Someone here had mentioned that uh, right now in Ontario, mm. I felt really, really bad. Okay. I need to come out with this because I feel terrible about Aww. it. So I was talking to one of my friends in the States and he said he got both shots mm. and he was like planning all this stuff for the year and he was mm. really happy that he'd be able to see his family and everyone and everyone was just about good. And mm. I called up my family and they're like, yeah, we're not doing that well in Ontario. Oh, like, really? Things are still, but like. Luckily, with Japan, with things like camping and whatnot, mm. if you get it out of season and you don't go on the weekend, like a Sunday... You probably won't even run into anyone. Next to nobody. No. Like, I camped out for the Abandoned Village series, mm. and there was two other people at the entire campsite, and each of them was at least 30, 40 meters away from me. Yeah, like, you won't so, be interacting with other people. Yeah. So, I... Ah, I just look forward to the world being a... A great mm. place again. Kawaii Jess saying, please make a 12K video of Quinlan exploring an abandoned something. Yeah. I feel Quinlan's like it's been done. Quinlan's always exploring an abandoned... I feel, that sounds familiar. I feel like I saw But I think like that, that was 8K. I think it was only 8K. <laughs> so... Wimpy 8K. We need a 12K. <laughs> Filmed on something you can hold in your hands Chris rather would than... be so pissed. 12, 12k the man who explores abandoned buildings in 12k <laughs> and, and like literally shot for shot literally the exact same, same video just just copy just it exactly 12K. as is and just be like yep yeah, there we go just rip the voiceover from the yeah. original video just oh, wow he would not be happy with that 
I was trying to see if I couldn't find a shot of the the 12k camera because it's, it's just giant. massive. It's a beast. But I don't think I have any shots of me holding it on this phone. I think I cleared it all off. The the 12k camera was like this. Yeah. Big. Um, I loved one of my favorite parts about it is people who like commented on the video and was like, "Oh, nice advertisement for this 12k." Who, who's who's buying that? Who's gonna buy that? Who's, the body without without a battery, without uh, a lens, and the battery is like five six hundred dollars. Yeah. Without a battery, without a lens, yeah. without the six thousand dollars of accessories oh, that you God, need to just use the accessories. it. Accessories. Yeah. The body alone is ten thousand dollars. Who am I advertising this to? Yeah. People don't think that through when like, they come in. It's like, that. <laughs> it's like it was the, the entire video was, as uh, the British say, just to take the piss. Take the piss. <laughs> I learned that one recently. Uh, so Pedro, how's it going, man? Uh, Pedro saying, funny when you stumble across a video about something you've never considered doing, and then instantly connect with the idea and start planning. That's yeah. what happened when I watched those abandoned village oh, videos. That's cool. Yeah, yes. share pictures with us if you go somewhere. Yeah, definitely. Cool. If you find somewhere abandoned, if you find somewhere cool, make sure you share pictures. Yeah, Hang I, us. Love, I love seeing abandoned buildings. Bonus points if it's in Japan and then we can go check it out. <laughs> so, I, uh, okay, so my most exciting moment yesterday, mm. I was going through my memory cards yesterday mm. and I pulled my memory card out of my GoPro to give it to Charlotte. Yeah. She's going through and she's like, what is this footage? What is this? It looked so sketchy. It looked like found horror film footage like it was really creepy looking so when i went up and i did the lake suwako stream the mm. stream of the lake from your name i stumbled across an abandoned love hotel in the middle of that, oh, that stream. Was a love hotel and it was fully open and i managed to go wow. in and i took a little fpv drone and flew it through How the hotel. How big was it? The, the I was drone? so impressed that you were flying that like around the room. It was about this oh, big. it's tiny. Super tiny. Oh shit. But I didn't have a camera installed on it, so I could only record from the goggles and it's an analog video connection. It's so it so looks creepy like looking. It's something like, from a VCR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a VCR, like every ten seconds it'll be like, <laughs> with yeah, like static. It like and... glitches out and it's it really is cool. the I recorded this whole video for Patreon. And I promised them that I was going to make this video of me flying around. And this you couldn't find the footage. We found for it. For weeks. It's okay. Couldn't find it. It was it's just here. gone. <laughs> found it. So excited. So if you're part of the Patreon crew, I can finally put out that video. Yeah, that's cool. I want to see that. I've only seen parts of it. I want to see the whole thing. So each Toshi95 is saying, Hi Norman Charlotte from Montreal. So Another, many wow. Montreal today. I That's love really it. Cool. Love your videos. They always make me happy. Here's a little something to use for your camping trip. Aww. I need to go. My phone is dying. Have a nice day. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Uh, Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> the most commented part of the entire uh, joke video with Chris. Uh, um, when I hung up the phone, I was like, okay, yep, love you, bye. Did you say love you? <laughs> I didn't catch that when I watched it. <laughs> I, like, I, just, I just snuck it in there. And like when Chris didn't even know I was going to do it. So when he watched it back with me, he was like, did you just... <laughs> Wait a minute. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Yeah, we uh, we watched it as we were I shooting Journey that. Across Japan uh, 3, yeah. 4, 5, 10, 12. I don't know how many 17. there are now. Um, Black Magic Ursa. Did yeah. you only let you lose the connection? Week on the... Yeah, sorry. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Gotta go. Well, your phone is ringing. Yep, okay. Mm. Love you too. Bye-bye. Oh. <laughs> Love you too. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> And that wasn't in the original script. Oh. And so, so he didn't know that was going to be in there. <laughs> he was not impressed with it. <clears throat> Can't imagine why. But he was just like, did you... Did... Muppet. <laughs> uh, I actually have a photo book about uh, abandoned places in Japan. Oh, it's called cool. Abandoned in Japan by Jordi Niao. I think I just... <gasps> Jordi, if you ever watch this... You and me need to talk. I think Jordy and I connected on Twitter. Oh, no way. And then we both got really busy or just like, I got uh, busy, I'm sorry, and I didn't reply, so uh, we're going to fix that. Mariah, just saying, want to say thanks again. Both of your channels helped motivate me with my Japanese studies. Hoping to move to Japan in 2023. It's good the planning ahead. Yeah. Love that. Super excited about that. Thank you so much. And Danica Sweet. Oh, hi. Oh, hey. 
Oh my lord, is that? As in, wow. Uh, I want the entire uh, video of the. <laughs> I want the entire video of taking Elon cardboard cutout camping. Just oh Elon my up. god, he's been to like so many places. I brought him over to my friend Ushka's house. What? He's because we were having a party for her husband, who's a oh. big Elon fan. Um, so I was like, oh, I'll bring the cutout. So I brought him down to Ushka's house and we dressed him up for the party. And now, like, every big occasion, she puts a new costume on him. And we Is have he a there party now? There. Yeah, and we have a party there. Okay. I kind of feel like if we did get hit with condensation, he'd turn into, like, a warpy wallaby. That's true. Egon. That's so. true. Could we, like, laminate him? <laughs> There's Possibly. a video right there. <laughs> Laminating Elon, Elon Musk. Musk. <laughs> All right, JAB888 is back again saying, Sharla, you and the whole Trash Days crew should do a podcast where you all dress up as Sailor Moon characters. <laughs> I didn't uh, see that ending I just, coming. Just didn't. I feel just like Connor would be field. up for that. I'm not sure about the other boys. <laughs> that just like. That just came out of left field. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it. Don't know how to. Which, which um, Sailor Scout would Joey be? I could say, yeah, I, I could see him pulling off tuxedo mask pretty well. Oh no no no! He's got to be one of the scouts. Oh, that, he got to be cheating. Yeah. Well, then he's, <laughs> he's Jupiter the all the way with those Jupiter. long legs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna go public. Okay. Uh, PB is saying plant Canadian flags at the camping sites and declare it as uh, we're gonna. <laughs> We're going to declare war <laughs> declare on Japan, war apparently. Just <laughs> like, kidding. Make maple territory. syrup moat and let some moose patrol it. See, now <laughs> it ended Canadian. really good, actually. It started like we were starting war with the country we're in, but it ended with a moose patrolling a maple syrup moat. I'm down Just with that. getting kicked out for making a maple syrup moat in the campsite. Uh, and Kenshin 767 first time super chat. Aww. Hi. Nice to have you. Uh, love both your videos. Hi from Thank Ottawa. You. Ottawa and Montreal. Why are Everyone so many in like Canadians. Yeah. I do... swear I do not get anywhere near this many Canadians in my streams. Really? Please come to my streams. So I did We're a, a meetup. <laughs> I did a meetup in Toronto and it was kind of impromptu. I just kind yeah. of announced it like a day or two before. Yeah. Thinking four or five people would yeah. show up because at the time my channel was maybe a quarter mm. or a fifth of what it is mm. now. Thirty people came. Holy crap. I think everyone who follows me is That's like awesome. in that area. That's so, so cool. Yeah, it's really Alberta it's a neat here. Barry, like you viewers like from your hometown, Edmonton, area. Calgary. <laughs> everyone so just say Canadians. what part of Canada? Anyone are they from, from Victoria? So. Any BC crew in the chat? I, I try to get to Toronto. Got to do it again. Alpha Mike was there. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah I met so Alpha cool. Mike. I brought my brothers along with me. Aww. So that That's was a good fun. time. Toronto, Montreal, Edmonton, Kitchener. Kitchener. Oh my God, Kitchener is like literally. Do I know you? Have we met Probably in person? Like, I feel like if you're from, from high school, <laughs> I feel like if you're from Kitchener, we have to have met in person. Guelph. Oh, I worked in Guelph you, for like forever. I worked in Guelph for like a year. I guess that's not forever, but it was Guelph, so Lots it felt like movies. forever. Because it was like a 30 minute drive. Oh, I see a Victoria. A Victoria. Hey, Barb. Hi Hamilton. Five. One of my favorite creators is in Hamilton. That's cool. Um, yeah, on the 20th, wow. I'm doing a stream. So, Canadians. 20th, doing a stream. Over. Canadians. Add some more Canadians to my chat. 20th. That is two <laughs> days from now. What time is the stream? Oh my god, is that in two days? That is in two days. <sighs> What time is the stream? It's going to be around noon Japan. So now. Is that the stream now, with that person in that place? It's where you're that, doing that, that stuff? person in that place with that stuff. With the stuff. Yeah. Where you're doing the thing. The thing. And the. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this time in two days. Is it really? Are you sure? Yeah. Oh my it, God. It is it the is. 18th right now. Holy crap. Time is going way too fast. It has been absolutely crazy. Uh, okay. So, with everything, we have, we have a mess to clean up we at the do. very least. I don't think we're actually going to be able to end the stream. Oh no, it's the I, eternal stream, I this forgot. This stream is going to last. Have you ever seen, what's that, like, and this it goes the on and never ends. As soon as you said that, I it. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they continue singing it forever just because this is the stream that never ends. <laughs> Honestly, what are we gonna do? Uh, I 
have no idea. Do. Honestly, I think that this is like that. For that's those it. of you that missed the beginning, YouTube was all glitchy and weird, and the end stream button is just non-existent now. <laughs> yeah. So fun for Charlotte to be on Trash Face. Also, miss seeing Mark with you on stream. Aww, Norman Mark collab Mark when? Too. When I can get down there? I should just go visit him. Have you met Mark? No, never. Oh, you guys would. I should get along. do a live stream where I just like surprise him out of nowhere. Yeah, you guys, like, you guys would really get along. Just we should all hang out. Come season. down to Hiroshima with me sometime. I'm down and for we'll that. We'll all hang out. So this stream may never end. Um, <laughs> what what will gonna... happen if we just like close the laptop? What happened last time? Just you remember like, what happened when we opened like up the laptop? So and then we streaming. opened up the laptop and it was still <laughs> no. streaming. And like, yeah, so... Try it and turning it off and on again. Yeah, it just it didn't work out. So, uh, again, if you are if you're new or if you missed early on in the stream, um, a brand new channel for streaming linked in the description. Chances are, what we'll be doing at the beginning is a double stream system. So I do a stream on Tokyo Lens, and then I go over to the new channel and I do a little bit of a test stream on there. Mm. Uh, that way, it's not too much mm -hmm. on one channel at once. So more streams to come over on the Tokyo Lens Explore channel, which will be Yay. for exploration. It is linked in the description box below. Also, a huge thank you to the Patreon squad for supporting that channel and helping getting it started. If you are interested in being part of the community, we got the Discord, we got tons of behind the streams, behind the scenes live streams <laughs> and everything. So feel free to come on over. Plus tons of podcasts over there this is your formal invitation Ooh, will our podcast be over there our podcast will be on the main show oh. we can do a backup one too uh and cookie ninja thank you again it was nice to finally catch a stream i hope Aww. you guys have a safe camping trip i thank hope you. we have a safe camping trip as well thank you to the mod we'll squad we'll have bear spray now thanks to you guys yeah very yeah. expensive bear spray that hopefully we won't need to use but we yeah. definitely should bring it with us go out and get that today <laughs> Don't want to get eaten by a bear. Yeah. So, Charla, it's been good. Yeah. We ate all the calories. We did. We don't need to eat anything else today. Probably not. It was really it. nice, though. Thanks to Sakurako and uh, Tokyo Treat for supplying those boxes for us. Oh, aren't we, like, giving one away? Oh! My God! Almost, almost totally missed that. <laughs> so if you've, like, peaced out on the stream Shit, already... Shit, because we said bye. I feel yeah. bad now. Oops. But I guess this is like a bonus. For That's the people okay. That are I'll still link here. it in the, the <laughs> comment section as well. So what I want you to do is comment in the section comment section below when the video goes live. I want you but to what, say. But what if it never ends? What if it never ends? <laughs> and you can't enter. Well, then I might just have to do another stream to be honest. <laughs> uh, I want you to comment whether or not you want the Tokyo treat box. Or the Sakura Ko box and tell me how would you enjoy it? Would you enjoy it by yourself? Would you enjoy it with a friend, a family member? Would you give it to your mom? I kind of want to send this my to mom would love this, right? Actually, yeah. that's a really good present for like your mom's birthday or something. Yeah, she can sit down and enjoy it with your dad. You that's know? a really good idea. Yeah, I'm gonna do so. that. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> So when the video goes live, if it ever goes live, make sure you leave it in mm. the comments section. I will try to figure out how to end this. Maybe pushing this button? No, see, that all that's done is cut out the video feed. You can still hear us, so I gotta okay. go ahead and bring that I'm gonna, back. I'm gonna keep this up. And You're gonna keep just that gonna up, just see, so you can see, see if, if we can live, actually See if actually we've end actually it. ended it. So, okay. We're going to try, make an attempt, an actual real attempt, to end this stream. I don't know how I'm going to do it. There's no button to end it. Usually it's right there. I don't know. Why isn't it right? It's usually a big red There's button. There's a button right at the top this that says so like, glitchy. end this stream. And that button so is just non-existent. Like, I just don't know why that button. I can't wait to like, talk to YouTube help later and be like, why? Would <gasps> oh, it was there for was a second <laughs> and then it disappeared. The button was there. What was that? This is weird. Um, yeah. So we're going to try and end it. And thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, thanks and for chilling. Know, that was really fun. You know. I will see you again. Real soon. There was a bit of a delay there. <laughs> just, you know what? I'm forget distracted. Just, no, we're, I forget it. The
but actually we're not gone. We're still here and then we're back and then they're like, what surprise? If you're new to a Tokyo Lens live stream, the endings are fake. It's like the cake. The cake is a <laughs> you lie. You can't tell them that because now they're going to expect it. Well, yeah, now you got to I... surprise them. Sometimes you got to actually end it. Okay, like this? Yes. people chatting still they're still there they're still there <laughs> they're there's 778 of them i don't know how to bring the video back I, oh crap i think i've just entirely lost the video feed oh no oh, what crap. have i done <laughs> oh, dear. there we go the video's back now that's actually a really nice clean image yeah that's not didn't bad. realize I, I like just put all the garbage here. Good yeah, job, just Norm. in screen. Just nice. in screen. Very <laughs> good framing. Professional YouTuber. Are you YouTuber? Um, derp. Yeah. So how are we gonna attempt to end? It? I have no idea how we're gonna end it. Like seriously, we reloaded the we reloaded the page, and the end stream button popped it up. It popped up for like a split second and then faded out. And then it was just like, ha, jinx. Yeah. So, yeah, it just fade out. Let Seriously, come check out the Tokyo <laughs> Lens Explorer channel. I would love to have you there. If we ever figure out how to get this live stream ended, then maybe, maybe I'll do a live stream on there at some point. Um, yeah, this is just... <laughs> this is ridiculous. What? Alexandra... Aww. Good <laughs> is coming in with a super chat. For the epic ending. Epic ending. <laughs> The epic ending that's literally never happened. And Pedro loved it. <laughs> now it just feels like we're playing online peekaboo. Peekaboo! Thanks, guys. See, now the screen's gone black. But you know what? You know what the neat thing is? I can bring this back in. And I think there's this button here where I can go, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that's not the one I was going for. I'm like, <laughs> oh, there we go. Star oh, Wars nice. wipe. That's nice. Peace. I like that. That. See, I can wait. Is it this way? No. Sure. It's the, other, did, way. It's the other way. I did a bad job. Oh, on fuck. That. No, See, yeah, it, <laughs> it is. You don't, even, you don't even know. You're like, no, you're doing it wrong. I wasn't doing it wrong. Do it. Do it. Uh, Go. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Go. Oh, fuck it. See, it's, it's faster than you. Also, a little late in the stream, but language advisory. Charlotte swore three times in this stream. Yeah. <laughs> a little <Three>. late. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Captain America would be like language. <laughs> <laughs> We're really not going to address the fact that he just said language. Okay. All right. I'm really going to end it this time. Okay. Control Alt Super, then pick up which program to close. Uh, yeah, I, I, that that'll just leave the stream going. Yeah, though, it's weird. It doesn't yeah. actually. I can end close it. the browser. I can close it all, but it's just. It'll just be a black uh, screen that says live. I think. Dump <laughs> some water on it. Just like. <laughs> that'll that'll end the stream, and the house. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, real ending coming up. <laughs> just kidding. Just faded to black for absolutely no reason. We're still here. Real ending's gonna happen now. Thank you guys so much, Jordan. Charla, thanks for being yeah, a part of it. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks uh, for hanging out, guys. We will uh, we'll see you guys again real soon. We're back. Gonna, we're faded. And gonna, we're black again. <laughs> gonna, gonna take this here streaming box. This is, it's dusty. I don't know how it got so dusty. We've been sitting here like an hour. How is it? <laughs> Sorry. How is it suddenly? <laughs> no. This is a little dusty. No, it's, it's all the snacks. It's probably the, the air con. <laughs> it's snack dust. Okay, so... With this, I'm going to turn off the mics first like this.